Hello. Hi, Albert. <laughs> Did you like that one? I did. Okay, cool. Uh, I noticed some avocados. Yes. We're gonna make classic guacamole. Oh, I love guacamole. So, sharp knife. Always a sharp knife. Always a sharp knife. Ooh. Right to the center, so you can feel there's some resistance where the pit is. Yeah. So then we're just going to slide or circle the knife around. Okay, and it's being basically guided by the pit inside. Oh, neat. Okay, and then we're going to... Twist and open. Oh my god. And open. So there's the big pit you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we have a, to find a way to get that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap the heel into here oh, and turn. Oh, it comes out. It's going to come okay. out, okay? So I'm going to get you to chop up some garlic. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is take the stem end off. That little bit there? Right. Okay. 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 We're going to loosen the skin of okay. the garlic. So you're just going to use your knife. You're going to put it down flat. Like this? Yep. And then just use the heel of your hand and give it a good crunch. There you go. And okay. the skin should come off quite freely. Yeah, oh yeah, here we go. There. Perfect. There. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so we're gonna chop that. Just chop it up? Yep. Nice and fine? Nice and fine. Okay, a little finer. Let's use the palm of your hand. There you go. All right. Take your lime, roll it on the board. Roll it on the board because this loosens the inside skin or something like that, right? To yep. make it easier to juice it? Yes, exactly. That's the thing? Okay. Okay, so let's cut those in half. So we're going to scoop our avocados, and I'll show okay. you. You can grab one there. Yep. So you're just going to use a spoon, right. and it comes right out. Oh, now the garlic? Put the garlic in. Okay. This was... Lime. Oh, uh, we use a fork to help squeeze it. Exactly. Okay, last but not least, you don't have to put this in, but I like to, I think it adds a little bit of more flavor to the guacamole. We're going to put a little bit of cumin in. I would give two big pinches. Two big pinches, yep. okay. One, two. Perfect. All right. Jeez. My hands are slippery from the lime juice. All right, there we go. <laughs> now we're going to put our salt, salt in. in. Mixed slightly with some cumin that I accidentally spilled in there earlier, okay. And another pinch. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so now it's time to mash. Ah. Okay, so you can use a fork, but because we have so much in here, a good tip is to use... A potato masher. A potato masher. Some people like their guacamole really chunky, and some people like it really smooth. So that's a personal preference. Okay. Now, is this chunky or is this smooth right now? That I, I think got? that's sort of a good medium consistency I'd leave okay. it at. Great. There. Okay, and then we're going to stir it up with the spoon one more time just to incorporate... All the cumin yeah, and salt exactly. and stuff? Okay. So we should try this. Okay. Just on a spoon? Let's do it on a spoon. All right. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm, delicious. And it was easy. It, it was, was easy. easy.